Hello, Bonsai Empire friends. I am David Benavente. I'm located in Madrid, Spain, and I would love to show you my works here in my garden. So let's have a look. I would like to stop in this uh, Itugawa that is, uh, well, in fact, the, the trunk is uh, Junipero Sabina and the fall it is Itugawa. And I want to stop uh, in this one because of this, because everybody asks, what, what is this? So the thing is, this, this scene is coming uh, too much to the front and uh, I think it, I could uh, improve it a little bit and I want to bend in. It, it bend it up and then move to here, and uh, well, I think it will be more inter integrate, and and that's why. The thing is, inside there is uh, uh, fabric uh, with uh, water and covered with plastic that make the the wood more flexible, and that's all. This is all the mystery around this this area. The foliage was uh, grafted because the, the trunk is uh, Sabina. Everybody in Europe know this uh, juniper from Spain called Sabina. And, uh, but the foliage is not so easy to maintain. And then I decided to graft into Itugawa, that is uh, the top one. So when I grafted, it was uh, seven years ago, about, and just graft three little trees, three little uh, branches with the, the, the roots. So two branches here and uh, another uh, for the lower trunk. And uh, all what you see here, everything is built from, from almost uh, nothing. Uh, but uh, I, I needed some uh, to cover some space here and well, the, des the design is so a little complex, but uh, well, this is another story. Before I mentioned Itugawa, it's, uh, maybe you heard it uh, before, but I would like to tell you wh what it is. It is a variety of juniper from Japan. There are uh, many, many junipers all around the world, in different uh, species, and uh, well, the, the the, the Japanese variety is Juniperus chinensis, but there is a variety called Itugawa. So this is the, the top uh, variety for bonsai. Why? Because of the beauty of uh, the green, the size of the, the, the needles, well needles, the, the leaves, and, uh, beca and because it's very easy to create the paths, and especially it's very easy to maintain because after wiring a couple of times, they keep the position forever. So it's, uh, it's a dream. <laughs> Maybe the design of this uh, tree catch uh, your attention because it is not the triangle, the typical triangular bonsai. Uh, for me, this is uh, quite boring. Sometimes it is okay and it's the, the good way to do it, but in this, in this case, I feel the need of making something more complex because of the shape of the trunk. It, it has some uh, sections very with a lot of movement and nice dead boots. Some others are more a little bit more boring. So it's a good idea to create uh, a different, uh, like, a, mm, well, a different composition with the little pads that catch the attention and take it to the point you want and, uh, and hide or distract from the parts that are not, not interesting for you. So it's much more difficult to do than just a triangle, but the result uh, 
in my opinion, is much more spectacular. This is uh, one of my most uh, important pieces uh, right now in the garden. It's a juniper that came from Taiwan. So it's a Taiwanese juniper and it was imported by Salvatore Liporace maybe 25 years ago, maybe a little bit more. So maybe the, the more veterans uh, bonsai enthusiasts uh, know this tree because uh, well, the, the, there, w there was an article featured in many magazines. So at that time it, have, it had the original Taiwanese foliage that well, is, is not that so beautiful here uh, in, in Europe. Uh, because uh, very easily create a juvenile foliage. So, so make many, many needles and it is uh, longer. So I found uh, this tree uh, five years ago in uh, not so good condition. So I was taking care of it, of it to, to bring back the, the health. And after that I could uh, well, refine foliage and, and develop it a little bit more because of the grafted branches and the, in general the volume of the of the leaves was not uh, big enough so we are arriving to the to the right point but it still is uh, in the process the project with this tree is um, let the lower branches uh, grow a little bit more because it's, uh, I think the, the, the foliage is too far from the ground, so this is the idea. And of course I, I would like to make it a little bit more natural, because uh, well, before I had many, many wiring to make it perfect, but I think it's enough. 
And at that point, I would like to, to make it look more, a little bit more loose. Never will be hanging because this is Itugawa, but well, more like in the Japanese style. Another uh, interesting thing on this tree is the bark, because this is a, a juniper and uh, well, in, uh, ha almost in 100% of the cases we paint in white uh, dead wood and, uh, and uh, clean the, the bark to make it red. But in this case, I, I prefer like, uh, let it with uh, all these uh, flakes because it looks more natural, looks uh, more, looks older, and especially because the, the foliage is like too perfect, in my opinion, this, uh, this flaky bark make it looks more alive, more like a real, real tree, because sometimes in, trees in this style are, well, could be plastic or artificial or not, not real, a live plant. So I think with this uh, bark, I I bring it more to the to the reality, to the natural style. 